Well, why not go for something like a Hail Mary? Here come the five red lights for the first Qatar Grand Prix in F1 for RPL. A jump start from L74G, not crucial to his race for the rest of it. You Minico didn't go off the line, but T.S. Korsman leads the run down to turn one. Gonna try to arc the corner side by side between the McLaren and Red Bull. Reese trying to do everything he can to get the race lead. Side by side at turn two. Reese on the inside for turn three. They touch. It's Reese ahead. Korsman has to yield for second. And now Cryptic follows suit behind with L74G battling Beatnik with that drive through. Very crucial to his race to get it out of the way in terms of gaining positions and everything else. Minico, for some reason, at the back of the grid did not go off the line. You can see cars jockeying. For position trying to fan out the Ferrari getting sideways. That was Stenner. And at the off back the circuit. Grid, more yellow flags. Hunter and Grandpa, the tier two title protect is forcing oh. each other off the circuit. Shanghai around. Shanghai into the gravel having some issues right there. There was potential contact we saw at the end of that. But Reese with an amazing start ahead of TS Korsman. Oh my god, the Mercedes are actually close. Almost happened. That's got hit in All trying to get Slipstream off one another. Red Fire pulling out on Beatnik. Red Fire would need this, and they're all fanning out almost four wide in the background. We're going to switch to that because Trent Racer inside the top 10. Annex trying to get spots side by side with Jack and Florian. Florian ahead of Jack. And Jack down uh, inside, they touch! An Annex, Annex and Trot Annex. Racer! Inside! They will go side by side of the double right where Annex gets ahead and now Stenner wants his opportunity to involve himself in this battle. We look at the positions gained as Trat Racer tries to pull one on the inside. Behind that, they almost go two by two. However, much action in the first couple of laps. I think Korsman, I don't know if he's gonna, if he, if he goes for the move now, he's gonna have to. But I think the lap before he stayed behind, he's gonna just, he, look at him, he's not using any of the ERS at all. He should let the DRS do the work. And he's taking the race lead. I think this is genius. Again, the race lead. Can Korsman hold on over Reese? Reese using a ton of battery so far to start this race in the first five laps. However, Reese is trying to get it back. He pulls the inside, shows him which lane he wants to go, makes the move easy. However, can he hold on to it by turn one while Korsman tries to cut back? He can't do it. Reese is ahead. Also in the background, Grandpa getting Annex and also the Alfa Romeo Zakaria getting Trat Racer. And also, Hunted and Jordan side by side here at turn one. This is a neat little battle. Now, Red Fire in the penalty uh, box as well. That is not crucial toward his race. Stenner on Florian. Stenner was maybe thinking of a look. And now, he uses that battery to have a look at the final corner. Side by side. You don't usually do that here. However, Stenner using that battery and now going to be low 10% blinking and Florian almost into the rear tire of them. So now, we're about to be three wide on the straight. Oh, Florian no. far inside line. Stenner through on both of them. <laughs> to his credit and DeHaas's credit, fair play. I do say net including the fact if there's a safety car and we do have a oh, spin, Minico. it's Minico. Korsman, and now Korsman is a lot closer to make a move on Reese. Here he goes. He he can't do it. Massively. That's big bread. Fire. Here comes Renault, here on. he goes. Beatnik, inside. Redfire has for the corner. Redfire slides in the process. You saw that tank slapper and what that did. It didn't allow him to get past. Ooh. However, it's going to allow a bit of a battle for turn three. And now on the run to turn four, Redfire on the inside line trying to make the pass. Can't do it. I wonder, oh, and Alex and TB. TB forced off the circuit. And Alex not going around the outside of turn two. TB does the same thing. Whoa! Side. It's absolutely scintillating between the two young boys. And into the Tons fourth of corner we go, and Annex comes out on top. Wow. That actually does impress me, I must say. Annex currently running P5. He's been P5 the last two races. P6 last week. He'll be coming in soon. Speaking of coming in, how about Reese coming in? And Redfire with a three-second time penalty. Six that is so the first driver with six seconds of penalties. You are correct on that Disgusted. one. Man. He didn't if pit, Redfire can figure it out 
It would be very great. He's doing well on track, but not in terms of the track limits. Obviously, Beatnik is going to have a move to be made soon here on him, but will not do it just yet. Reese coming out of the pit lane now. Where is he in terms of Corsman? This undercut, super, super oh, it's gonna be close. beneficial. It He's is going to be close. Lead. Corsman to the net lead. He's done it. He's gapped Reese. Wow. Minico said his brakes failed. Got stuck. And a big battle here for the 12th position with six, seven cars under a blanket. Kipu gets muscled by the chiller. L74 G3 on Trout Racer. Trout Racer almost with a little bit of a stack up with Hunted. I believe he's about to let him go. He does. And pitting is Redfire finally. <laughs> Little Alpha Romeo train going on here. Oh! Reese and Korsman for the lead. We just missed that. What happened there? Korsman overtaken for the race lead. And he went now. Off the circuit. I'm looking at the replay there on the live stream. Korsman went off the circuit at the long left, the the uh, the, the quicker hairpin. And um, I don't know what. It may be locked up. I don't know what happened. He's just, he's obviously made a detrimental mistake. His ERS has now plummeted because he used it all to try and to up race. And now he's back in the same place he was with the pit stops. Weaving, bobbing, and now trying to find their way to break some slipstream and trying to find a way to either be first Trap or second. Out. And Trat Racer is out. Safety, Safety car. car. Holy cow. That has just put a big exclamation point on this race. I think Cryptic will stay out here because he's just pitted as well. Oh! Horseman what? has just passed Reese entering the pit lane, but was that legal? Was that before the pit lane, though? Let's that see. just got very interesting. Uh, he's, he's, he's not got a big gap to Jack, but Jack has been a little bit uh, sleepy there. Is Corsman going to go for it immediately? He is. He's going to go wheel to wheel, Jack. No DRS even being used between the two. Just shows the difference. And a race is going to make it free wide. He's going to take the next race lead. Is Corsman going to fight it? He will fight it. So no penalty. Oh! Away, and he's been overtaken. They almost came together. And now the two Ferraris go side by side. Center and Jack. And now Jack has been left in the dust because he's now got red fire for a little bit of threatening. Right in the back of Jack. I think he's going to go for it here now. Into the last corner. Jack's not going to fight it too much, surely. He's going to just stick it around the outside. Going to make Beatnik work a little bit for it. But Jack's not using any of his ERS. And now Florian's going to come through. Make a free wide. Don't make sure again. How many free wides have we seen? And lead. Reese to the lead on Cryptic. And now he's got his teammate there to protect, but Cryptic wants down the inside while Korsman's around the outside. Korsman is through oh, and ahead, and we've got a three-car race on our hands while Stenner wants part of the action. Stenner wants to be there for Ferrari. Now Cryptic is under pressure from Stenner with Redfire following with the penalties. Yes, enabled. Remains. Will Korsman get a penalty for what he did? We will have to wait and see. He, d he obviously let Reese through, but not of his own accord. And, um, oh, oh Florian has tagged Beatnik. What is he doing? Florian is just. I thought, I, it's not making a very good. Um, very good. Um, what's the word? Oh! oh no, he Grandpa! He was having a good race and now he's picked up damage on his car somewhere. And that is not, not what he needed as Korsman. Tries to put some more pressure on Reese for the race lead. He just can't get past right there. And now Florian trying to gain on the runners in front of that with Beatnik. Titan uh, telling me that Luke is a three times F1, five time F2 champion. Although I don't count the F2 ones because um, he's a big, the biggest F2 fraud I've ever seen in my life. Here we go. Horsman. Um, now they're two by two. And here goes Stenner. Stenner wanted to have a look on Reese. Reese with no DRS. Barely any ERS. Gets overtaken by Korsman. And now by his teammate as well for a moment. Korsman to the lead.
Phoenix, Phoenix has left the no. session! And now, Florian slid from P6, about to lose it with TB right there as well, while Annex goes up to P8. Well, one last chance. Maybe two more chances. Reese is really putting the pressure now on Korsman. Once again, he wants the race lead. He needs the race win. If he wants to continue to extend the gap, if he has any bad races in the final five races, if Scyther comes back, and now Cryptic wants to have a look on Reese. While Reese has a look on Korsman, the penultimate lap is done. The final lap is on. Here we go. Reese, Cryptic, Korsman in the three car fight. They're about to go three abreast toward turn one. Reese to the outside line. Can Reese go through for the lead? Side by side, Korsman pushes him out to the curb. And now Reese back down the inside. Side by side, they're about to come together, but Korsman out on top. Beatnik's AI has pitted. So his points and potential podium is over. Now Reese has more opportunities, but how much more? Down the inside, late in the breaking zone, side by side in the last lap of the race. You don't usually see a move there in the last lap or the late stages, but Reese wants to win. He's trying to find the way past. Korsman can't do it just yet. He has a couple more opportunities. And how long left? for Reese to find a way past Korsman. This could be a run to the finish line. This could be a photo finish. Reese dumping the battery. Korsman dumping the battery. They're all finding the time. They're all finding the places that they can gain and they can take the race victory. It's between these two with Cryptic's penalty. It's either Reese, Korsman. Which one's gonna get it? Korsman, the risk of a post-race penalty from passing in the pit lane earlier. Or Reese, who is leading the championship, going for win number 11. Who's going to win the inaugural RPL Qatar race? It's a run to the finish line. Korsman, Reese, Korsman, a second win in RPL. He wins the inaugural Qatar event in RPL. Fight to the line. Annex, Florian, <laughs> Annex, P5, and crash. But it, Korsman wins the first ever Qatar Grand Prix. <laughs> Alex is going wow. a little chuckle there. <laughs> That's the fuck. Derek Miles finishing fifth. He'll take that, I think. Now on your screen, you can take a look at the final race results. Also, you may want to pause the video because next upcoming is the driver standings, the constructor standings updated here for RPL. Make sure if you want to tune into our future races in the league, you go over to the Twitch, RPL underscore XB1. And until next stream, until next race, have a good one. We will see you then over on the Twitch.